my channel. Today, I'm gonna be talking to you about feeling confident when you go to the gym. Yes, okay, it is so important. Like, I cannot tell you how many women I get telling me, oh, I don't wanna go to the gym, I don't feel confident, I feel self-conscious. It could be a very vulnerable space going to the gym, so I get it. And I decided to put a list together of the things that, cause look, me too, girl. I be up here some days like, I don't want to be seen. What if I run into somebody I know or run into like an amazing dude, some hot dude? Like, I want to feel good. I want to feel confident when I go to the gym. And honestly, when you go to the gym feeling confident, it affects your workout. Like, if you go feeling like, you know, hella bummy and hella stale, you go, you kind of dip in, do the bare minimum and dip out. But when you're feeling good and you're feeling like a little like a hot girl, you go in, you hitting every single set, you hitting every little dip, you're like, okay, I'm gonna go over here, I'm gonna go over there. When you're feeling confident in the gym, girl, it affects your entire workout. So I understood the value of doing this video and so I wanna share with you the things that help me feel confident when I go to the gym. So the first thing that helps me feel really confident when I step into the gym is being clean and smelling good. It is totally okay to grab a shower before you go to the gym. You can still get out of the gym and get a good rinse off. I understand you don't wanna be drying your skin out and showering three, four times a day, but it's okay to shower before the gym and then to do a rinse off after the gym. Just make sure you moisturize, okay? I would avoid using heavy perfumes going to the gym, but using a scented oil or some body spray, like your favorite body spray. I get my body sprays from Victoria's Secret. They smell good to me and they work. I'm always in there smelling good, feeling so confident. Tip number two, have your hair decent. Don't be that girl stepping in the gym with the bandana or the bonnet, okay? If you wanna protect your edges, that's completely understandable. You don't wanna ruin your hairstyle, that's completely understandable. Do a cute little ponytail and a headband. Like, that's cute, that's cute. You do not have to do the full, you know, hair tie, how people be having their whole scarf on, their whole bedtime scarf on with the bonnet on top, I've seen it. Or like, they be putting the whole bandana on, nah, no, 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 we're not doing that. Put your hair back in a cute ponytail. You can do half up, half down. You can put your uh, headband on just to protect your edges. But girl, step in that gym with your hair decent. Tip number three, put some simple jewelry on. Just put a couple simple pieces. Just put a simple little necklace on, a cute little ring on, cute little pair of stud earrings or something like that. I'm telling you, when you just put some simple jewelry on before you go to the gym, it makes a huge difference in how you feel. Like you feel like you're bringing it, like you're there, but you're still bringing it. Like it doesn't look like you try too hard. It just looks like you care about what you look like. Like you care about yourself and you take good care of yourself and like this is how you show up, okay? The fourth thing that makes a huge difference in your confidence level when you step in the gym is honestly y'all know I wouldn't be me if I didn't talk about what really matters and that is the mindset like you have to be in this mindset of I'm here to improve myself I'm on a mission and that is to get myself feeling the best I can feel looking the best I can look <laughs> you guys excuse my skylight is like giving me so much light from here it's the skylight. Um, but if you hit the gym thinking like, who's gonna see me? Who am I gonna run into? How am I gonna be looking in front of other people? If that's your primary mindset stepping in, you're already stepping in with a self-conscious mindset. When you step in with that mission-focused mindset, girl, like you're gonna come off as incredibly confident because it's kind of like, I don't give a, I don't care what anybody thinks. You're like, Stepping in, it's not like, oh, I'm raggedy and I don't care what anybody thinks. It's like, I look amazing, I feel good, I'm showing up for myself, okay? This is how I show up, my hair is cute, got my little jewelry on, I smell good, I'm showing up for myself because this is who I am and this is how I show up, but I'm in here to beast it out. The fifth way that I show up confident, of course, is show up in some cute clothes. You have to have clothes that's cute, high quality, and that fit well. And you guys, oh my goodness, so this brand, Halara, reached out and they sent me a couple pieces that I am dying 
to show you. And I'm gonna have all, oh my God. So there is so much, you guys. Let me just tell you. So I'm in my new apartment and I have, a, I have skylights in this apartment. And I'm like sitting right under a skylight and it wasn't, the sun wasn't positioned like this <laughs> when I started this video. So if you see like this big angelic beam of light coming down on me, that's what's going on. I have this skylight beaming down on me right now. But anyway, I'm going to have all the information for each of these pieces in the description box below. So be sure to check it out. And I'll have a discount code for you down there as well, okay? So be sure to use that discount code. The first thing I'll show you is a pair of leggings, Halara leggings. And I chose this print because y'all know I like stuff. I love, you know, stuff that kind of pops. Sometimes you just want to pop, you know? And I love that they have these pieces that popped. So um, I'm going to try these on and show you guys what they look like on. Um, yeah, just some basic leggings. I'll be right back. Y'all, I love this color and this print and this pattern. So I look, I love the way these look on. Super cute. And such good material, quality material. Like, so quality. I'm gonna do a couple of squats, like, and so easily movable. It's got excellent body contouring abilities. Sometimes you get these leggings with excellent con um, with excellent body contouring abilities, but then you can't move in them. And they're super tight, and every single time you make a move, you gotta like readjust your whole body. And in these, not only are they holding me in, keeping my figure the way I want it to look when I'm in public, especially, but also I can move. And the next piece that they sent me is something that's way outside the box, but they said, Lara, you have to try this dress. <laughs> yes, I said dress. This is like their highlighted piece. To me, it kind of looks like a tennis dress or um, maybe something I would wear golfing, something like that. Uh, it's way different, way outside of the box, but it, it's cute and it's interesting, so let's try it on. It is a little bit wrinkled. I need to steam it, but you guys will get the gist of it. Let's try it on. First of all, I think it's cute. It's super cute. Like I said, it needs to be steamed, but it's so cute and I love it. It's like, it fits and it's super cute, see? Um, I'll show you the entire dress. It's got like this cross back. You know, I love that. It's super cute, you guys. It really is super cute. I love that you step into it instead of pulling it over your head. I can totally see myself playing sports outdoors with it, maybe going on a hike in it with some cute little tennis shoes, um, playing, I don't know, like I said, maybe playing some tennis or golf, <laughs> something like that. But I couldn't see myself doing a full out gym workout. And that's just me. Um, it's kind of short on me, and I don't know if it's because I have more in the back, if you get what I'm saying, and so it kind of like shows my butt. And of course, it has like shorts, it's not like just a dress dress. It like has, the, it's like a squirts. Is that what they call it, squirts? I think it's beautiful, I think it is so cute. The quality, you guys, unmatched. Unmatched. But it would have to be more for like sporty stuff. I would wear it to do something sporty, something outdoors, something to look cute in, put a little visor on, maybe a fanny pack, <laughs> and do my sports thing. But I wouldn't wear it to like hit the gym. I don't know. Let me know your thoughts. You think it's cute? Where would you wear it to? Let me know. This next one is adorable. I love sports bras, first of all. For me, finding nice sports bras is so important. Um, I love the color of this one. I love that it's a little bit of a longer sports bra because for me, that means I don't have to wear it with a shirt. You know what I mean? Like, especially in the summer when it's super hot. I can't wait to show you this on. Okay, you guys, so this is the sports bra. I think it is so cute. It has the slight little cups in it. I guess so that you're not like nipping. So, <laughs> so that your headlights aren't showing. I guess 
That's why they have them in there. Um, like I said, I usually take them out, but they're super duper thin. I love the style of this sports bra. Let me show you the back. So cute, right? The back of this is adorable. Could you imagine just putting your hair up in like a ponytail? And like I said, you see how it's longer? So it doesn't look like if you're just in your sports bra and your leggings, you don't look like a hoochie, just kind of bouncing around. But, you know, it looks more like a shirt, like a spaghetti strap shirt, but it holds you completely in. Like you can do your, if you want to jog or whatever it is that you're doing, you don't have to worry about falling all over the place. I just have one more piece to show you guys. Um, a pair of shorts, which is way outside of my comfort zone. If you're a shorts kind of gal, um, already I can tell you, you're probably gonna love these, but let's put them on and see how they look. So we have these now. These are actually really cute. These are actually really cute. As I suspected, body contouring, totally body contouring. It has you completely held and put together. What I've noticed, this is definitely a curvy girl friendly brand. Like, I don't feel super sucked in in one space. A lot of the times brands have it to where like, you, your leg is just totally squeezed. <laughs> at the bottom but this is only squeezing my legs a tiny tiny bit I mean you can see this is only squeezing them a little tiny bit but it's super cute no gaps in the back so it's accommodating to my smaller waist and my wider hips and my thicker thighs you know in my you know larger butt area it is totally accommodating it is hugging me it is doing everything it's supposed to do I actually quite love it um, if I was a shorts girl, I would be out in this in a hot second. No words, honey, none. What do y'all think? Are you a shorts girl? Are you the type of girl that's like, I got to live in my shorts, honey, it's too hot. So yes, that's it. These are my top tips for feeling confident in the gym. The more confident you feel, the better your workouts are, the better your workouts are, the better you feel and the better you look, baby girl, okay? If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, go ahead and subscribe right now. If you wanna take a look at more videos, go ahead and binge watch this entire channel. I have lots of other videos that I think you're gonna love. If you got any value from this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up right now so that others know that it's a good video and it's a good valuable video that they can watch. Thank you so much for watching and always remember to take care of yourself. See you next time.